Okay, so in this problem we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. This one's a little bit uh, more interesting than some of the other ones we've been doing because this one requires that we break it up. And this is the reason why. So first of all, we have to integrate z cubed. That's really easy to do, and we can just use the power rule. So let's write that as the integral of z cubed dz. So this one will be easy. Plus, and then we'll integrate the other one. And the reason we had to uh, break it up is because this second integral here requires a u substitution because we have 9 minus z to the 8th power and it's on the bottom. So we have to make a u substitution before we can do this one. This one, the z cubed, is ready to go. So let's go ahead and make our u sub for the second integral. So typically when you make a u substitution, your inside piece is your u. So in this case, the inside piece is going to be 9 minus z. So u is equal to 9 minus z. All right, good stuff. Now we compute the derivative. So the derivative of u is du. The derivative of 9 is 0. And then here, the derivative of z is negative 1. So we just get negative 1 dz which is the same as negative dz. Now you'll notice that there's no negative dz in our integrand. So what we do is we make this here look like what's here. So we, we, we force this to look like what's in our integral. So we'll divide by negative 1. So we have negative du equal dz. And dz is what's in our integral, and that's what we have here. So let's keep going. I'm going to go ahead and integrate this piece. This is just a power rule. So you add 1, so you'll get z to the 4 over 4. So you add 1 and divide by the result. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and then you divide by 4. This one here is going to be plus. Oh, I guess it should, it should be minus, right? Because the dz is negative du. So I'll go ahead and pull out the negative. It'll be 1 over u to the 8th. That's because that piece there was u, and then we have our du. All right, we're getting there. Let's keep going. So this is z to the fourth over 4. Now we can bring this upstairs, and when you do that, it makes the exponent negative. And the reason we do that is because we want to apply the power rule. Remember, you can apply the power rule when it's something to a power. Uh, the only exception is if it's like a negative 1. If it's negative 1, Right. In this case here, this is the special case where you get the natural log. So keep that in mind. Right. So Otherwise, you can just add 1 and divide. So let's do that. Let's add 1 and divide. So this is z to the 4 over 4 minus, and then adding 1 to negative 8 is negative 7. Okay? Uh, and then over negative 7. A common uh, rookie mistake, or even a pro mistake, or just a mistake in general, is people will add 1 and they'll put negative 9. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> right, you're adding 1 to negative 8, so that gives you negative 7. So this is z to the 4 over 4. Negative and negative is positive. So this is plus 1 over z. And let's bring this bad boy downstairs, u to the 7, plus c. Almost there. This is equal to z to the 4 over 4 plus 1 7th. And then u, uh, I already forgot what it was. Uh, what was u? u was way up there, 9 minus z. So u is 9 minus z. So this is 1 over 9 minus z to the 7th. And then, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. So that would be the final answer. So it's a nice problem because it illustrates a certain point. And, and that point, I think, which needs to be emphasized is this one. Um, when you are going to make a u substitution, since it doesn't apply to the first piece, you're supposed to separate it. Okay, so break it up and then make the u sub on the second piece. And that's probably uh, the most important point uh, that needs to be made. So I hope this video uh, was helpful to anyone out there in the world who is working on some calculus. Until next time, take care.